Well, hello. I'm back again. This is uh, Brother West. Brother West uh, with another uh, word of encouragement, the direct word. Uh, this morning, I, I, I used the title of uh, deal with your anger, deal with it, learn how to deal with it, you know, uh, face it and uh, control. Uh, and so that's where actually where the growth is at is when you're able to um, manage uh, what you feel. It's like lifting weights. The more you lift weights, the more you're able to manage the weights that you're lifting. And, and the more you lift those weights, the stronger you get. And so um, and what God is uh, teaching us and, and the thing that we, we need to learn how to do is to, to manage and to have self-control, basically. It's not to um, speak but but uh, not to react, but to respond and in reacting in, in a situation that comes up against us instead of the situation responding to the situation, react to the situation, we assess and use the wisdom on how to move, how to respond. And so that's where the wisdom and that's where the growth is at is in the that's that's where it's at it's in the response it's in the the ability to to fight through it's in the ability to listen and focus and so because anytime where growth comes there's conflict anytime you grow there's going to be discomfort anytime there's growth and just think about it also if you an example uh the, the, the title of this particular way of kind of looking at anger and learning how to manage because anger is energy to be able to deal with it or control that energy is uh, by temperature. Just think about it with temperature. Temperature when it comes to temperature, when it comes to seasons, uh, temperature when it comes to like when you want to uh, maybe fix a meal, uh, fix a um, uh, fix something in the oven, a steak or whatever. It takes a certain type of of temperature, uh, casserole, or whatever you make, where it has to go in the oven, it's gonna have to, and it has to be cooked. And so, in order for it to be cooked right, in order for it to be whatever it is, to be processed, where it's, uh, where it's prepared, where people will love it or it will be acceptable, it has to go through. Uh, it has to go through to have a certain temperature, a certain temperature. And so, also with deliverance, with receiving God, with receiving breakthrough, there is a temperature there is a temperature a temperature is like a temperature is a mood a temperature also is a behavior a learned behavior and so in this case the temperature is faith faith is a temperature faith is a mindset faith is is a temperature and so and so your mood your attitude that's what it is because it's an attitude it's the way you look it's the way you process it's where you'll look at a certain thing. And so it's a temperature. And she's just like when, when the day of, uh, on the day of Pentecost, when they all was in uh, one, one uh, in the upper room, when it was all on one accord, it took temperature. Because when the temperature wasn't right, the Spirit of God didn't fall. But when they had all things in common, common <coughs> that's when the temperature was condu conducive. The air, everything was prepared where God could platform or where God could appear. His power could be released. And so this is what God is looking for in the believer, in you, is your temperature, your attitude, your mindset. Do you believe? Do you trust? Is your attitude right? Just like my spiritual father, he always would say, uh, your, your attitude will affect your altitude. The way you look at a thing, the way you process, the way you look or way the way you view something, your attitude toward it will determine your level or even while you're in it, how you deal with it and the punishment that you take or whether you go through it a certain way. And so it's your mindset. It's your attitude. And so attitude does matter. Temperature does matter. And so this is what God is looking for. Faith, belief, believing in God. That's an attitude. That's a temperature. Trusting in him. That's a temperature. That's an attitude temperature does matter. It matters. And so God wants your temperature to be conducive, wherein God can platform, where God can appear. When you praise God, the Bible says he dwells, he abides, he inhabits uh, uh, where praise is. And see, praise is temperature. It's an attitude. It's a mindset of appreciation. It's a mindset of thanksgiving. And so I hope that you understand what I'm saying. An attitude, an attitude, energy, temperature. And so that's what God is looking for. Temperature, your attitude, your mindset, how you perceive it. Do you believe God? Do you trust him? Do you?
Hope this makes sense. God bless you. Heaven smile on you. May all God's best be yours.